Hello everybody, this is Subhu from MDM product specialist team. Today we are going to see how to use test IO utility to measure your database IO performance. Whenever a performance is used faced within MDM, whether it could be hub console, batch process, IDD or shift call, you need to ensure that your database IO performance is up to the mark. You can run this utility on the specific ORS schema which is facing issues. This is a custom utility which you can download from the knowledge base article 90855 which is available in Informatica My Support Portal. To run this utility, you need a system DBA access as well as a read write access to your Oracle server. What this utility does? Basically, this utility inserts millions of records into a table that it creates and measures different statistics. Once the statistics are gathered, you can see the output in a text file. As a general guideline based on our own benchmark, there are specifications the test results should match. If the measurements are not up to the expectations, you need to fine tune your database IO such as disks, disk portions, etc. and retry the test IO utility again. Let us see how to execute the test IO utility now. Here I have connected to my Oracle server which is hosted in a Windows box. So I am going to download my utility directly into my Oracle server. In case if you are using a non-Windows Oracle server, you can download this utility in a local box and then upload it back to your Oracle server. This is a knowledge base article where you can download the utility which is a zip file. So let me save the zip file. And let me extract the zip file. Here you are going to see three files. The first is a readme file, the second is a dump file and third is a SQL file. The readme file is going to have all the commands and instructions which you need to proceed with your test IO utility. The first command is a import command to import the dump for which you need your system user id and password. From user it is going to be the same as in the document. To user it is going to be your ORS user and the rest of the command you can directly copy from your readme document. Here I have in imported the dump into my ORS schema. For the next command, you need to log into SQL plus with your ORS user ID and password. Once connected, run the test IO utility. This is going to take some time because this is collecting all the statistics for our analysis. As you can see, the test IO utility is completed now. For the next step, we need to go to the trace file location which is the udump location. Let me show you how to find the trace file location for which you need to log into your system admin user. I am connecting as my system user and you can run the command show parameter user dump dust which is going to show the user dump folder. So this is the folder where the trace file is created. I need to go to this folder and execute the next command which is a tkprof command. Once you navigate to that folder, you need to look for a trace file called testio trace which is the latest here. So this is the file that I am interested in. I opened up a command prompt and navigated to the trace file folder and I am going to give the tkprof command using the trace file name that we just saw. So tkprof the trace file name testio is the output file and this is equal to no is a default parameter. So let me execute this command. So this command is executed. So if you go back to the trace folder now, you will see the testio.txt file. Let me open that file. This is the final file that you need to validate. In the text file that is created, you would find total elapsed time. If the total elapsed time is around 30 seconds, it's an ideal scenario, ideal environment. If it is around 50 plus seconds, it is a great performance. If it is 80 plus seconds, it is a satisfactory performance and there is lot of scope to improve. If it is 120 plus seconds, it is a poor performance and you must improve. And you can refer to the knowledge base article 119558 for more information regarding this output file. Let us go back to the text file and as you can see here, if you go to the far end of the text file, you would see a table like format which will say total elapsed time. In this case, it is 138. Comparing to a result, expected results, 138 is not a good performance. There is a lot of scope to improve. So that is what we found out from our test. To improve the performance, you need to work with your DBA, network and infrastructure team to get a better IO on your database. Let us summarize what we just saw. Test IO utility is used to analyze database IO performance and it is a downloadable from the knowledge base article. You need a system DBA 
access with a read write access to oracle server and total elapsed time is to be verified with a recommended guideline and you can refer to the knowledge base article 90855 and 119558 we would love to hear from you please provide your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or info support in twitter thanks for your time